Hello YouTube, this is Goldbot Forever, bringing you another video this time about which character you should use in the early ladder, which skills I would say are the best to use as a result. And finally, just a few areas in the later part of when you're leveling up through the ladder in Hell, where the sorceress can actually kill stuff and find really good items, in fact any items, that are available in the game. So to start with, I am obviously, since you're seeing the sorceress here, suggesting the sorceress. She gets teleport. She doesn't need Enigma, she doesn't have to find a teleport item that has to constantly be replenished with charges, which costs a ton of gold after a while. And this is the easiest character, in my opinion, to pick. A cold sorceress in specific. And if you guys haven't watched my other video about a script called Sonic for Colbot, this is a script that will automatically level a character for you in the ladder. You don't need to worry about skills or items any of that stuff, it will do it for you. And if you haven't checked that out already, you should do so. I will leave the link in the description for that one. If you're going to level up manually, I'm going to give you a few suggestions here. So obviously, Cold Sorceress, that's the way to go. We don't have Infinity, that's why I choose Cold Sorceress. So the first skill I usually pick is Warmth, I just put one point in there. Teleport, when you get it, put one point. Static Field, very, very useful, put one point there as well. The first thing we want to put a bunch of points into is Ice Blast because it does the most damage, in my opinion. So that's the one that I use, and I put a bunch of points into that. When I'm able to get Blizzard, I max it out, and then I put at least one point into Cold Mastery, and then go back to filling up your synergies. So we want all of our points to basically be into Ice Bolt, Ice Blast, Glacial Spike, Blizzard, and Cold Mastery. And that's pretty much the gist of where we want to put our points. Now, in terms of which areas should you farm in Hell, I want to briefly go over that because Hell is a little difficult. I, the reason I'm not going over Normal and Nightmare, and I know this is geared toward early in the ladder, but you're going to get to Hell somewhat fast. At least you should. If you're playing all the time during the ladder reset, it shouldn't take you too terribly long to get into hell. And once you get there, a ton of stuff is going to be immune to you. So once you're able to get past some of the acts and whatnot, that's going to be to your benefit. I would say getting up to act three is really all you're going to need for a really long time. So in act one, you can go to Andariel. She's pretty obvious. You should bug her if you can. That way she drops good items every time you kill her. Catacombs level four. Act 2, we also have the, in my opinion, the most valuable place, which is the Ancient Tunnels. I'll show you guys that real quick. This is in the Lost City. You just find the little stairs, or tell the bot to go here, whichever you're doing. And you can come in here and kill these guys. These guys can drop anything in the game. So extremely useful and a really good place to find. And then finally, we can also throw Duriel. He's also here in Act 2. Go to the Canyon of the Magi, so on and so forth, and then heading to, that's this one here, just show it off real quick, obviously, if you have Cobot, it'll show you which tomb to go into, and then last but not least, we have Mephisto, and with Mephisto, because we have Teleport, we can use the Moat Trick, Help. and the Moat Trick is extremely useful. Because you may be weak and you may not have really good items. And this is just a really neat trick that still works, as I'll demonstrate here. To keep Mephisto back away from you, and you can still cast him. So, like, as you can see here, he's not hitting me, he is hitting my mercenary, unfortunately. But more than likely, you're not going to have a mercenary, and you won't have to worry about this quite as much. And there you go, he died, he didn't even get hit. If we did, it was minor, it didn't happen. So, as I said, you don't really need good gear because a lot of times you're going to be kiting the monsters. This character is level 90, and she doesn't even have good resistances. Her items are not even that good. I have an Oculus, a Skin of the Viper Magi. Ignore the, the Annie there. <laughs> you didn't see that. That is actually pretty good, but... The rest of the stuff here is, you know, this is somewhat mediocre, other than the Mars. I just got lucky and found that one. We don't have a ton of good stuff here. I'm not even using a CTA. So just as a demonstration of what you can do and what you can pull off, I think that that kind of proves that you can do things with, you know, even if I didn't have the Annie, it wouldn't have made a difference here. 
because he wasn't hitting me anyway. Hope that helps, guys. If you guys have other suggestions on places to go and things to do early in the ladder, please leave those down in the comments. Like and subscribe as usual, and I hope you guys have a good one. We'll see you next time.